Head on over to G2A and enter Kami's Crystal Cave to get some sweet deals on crystals and more. Remember to click on the lowest price and use the promo code KAMIVS to get the best deal. G2A. What's going on everyone, Kami here, and welcome to part two of Ash in the series of my champions A through Z, Paladins. <laughs> Now before we jump into what we're going to jump into, which is the other two talents being Slugshot and Fortress Breaker, I wanted to make a note about a comment I read in an Eevee video that's going to help me out tremendously. Or I'll show you what I mean. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to Dio Dave, Dave, Dio Dave, I don't know, probably mispronouncing that, but he suggested to install Dark Reader on your browser to make any site dark mode. Uh, it's worked, it's amazing for better meta. I would suggest it if anybody's tired of being blinded by white screens. I mean, look at this. Ooh, ah, much better. So just to reiterate, Fortress Breaker and Slugshot are the two other ones that don't really have the high populator. We have 43.1 and Fortress Breaker, which is right behind Battering Ram. I think Fortress Breaker is actually competitive. I, I prefer Fortress Breaker when I play her just because I love having a two second cooldown. I'll show you what I mean when we go over the loadouts. And then we have Slugshot 11.2, which is not really used that much. So let's jump back into game and take a look at the loadouts that I'm going to be building for each of them. So the first one I wanted to go over is Fortress Breaker. I already have one for Fortress Breaker. I just wanted to go through why I chose what I chose. Uh, we have Ramparts, which reduces the cooldown of Seed Shield, which, you know, our talent is going into a stronger Seed Shield, so that's always good. And probably the most important card is Siege Engine, which allows you to reduce the cooldown of your Seed Shield by five seconds when you hit with a Kinetic Burst. Now there's something I want to make a note about this. When you place a Seed Shield down, it has a 10 second second cooldown. During the six seconds that it's up, it will not incur and start the cooldown, right? It'll kind of just be grayed out. It'll be sitting there doing nothing. If you try to use this loadout card, Siege Engine, and try to pop out your, your kinetic burst while the siege, or the, uh, the siege shield is still down, you won't get the cooldown reduction. It'd be cool if it worked that way, but I think it might be a little bit too busted. So the way you have to do it is you pop the siege shield down, you wait for it to disappear, and you try to time it up perfectly to where you can like have your kinetic burst ready, have a target nearby, blast them right as your siege shield goes down, and then you have about, I mean, hell, it's a 10 second cooldown. You're getting 2.5 seconds off, so it's at a 7.5, and the loadout card reduces it by five, which means you'll have a 2.5 second cooldown in between before you pop another one down. It's crazy. You can get it down really quickly. The downside is 3,000 health plus, or health plus 5,000 health is 8,000 health, and once they start getting record two and record threes online, your, C, your shield just gets melted immediately. But I mean, 8,000 is still a beefy amount and allows you to get really early game presence, good early game presence. The one that I'm not really sure what I want to do about is Slugshot. So if we just kind of go into a build, I think Slugshot, we'd probably want to do something around the lines of, you know, getting the lifesteal. That's always good. You're going to be able to shoot from long range. You'll probably have a better chance of getting uncotted healing from indomitable so we'll take that uh what else do we want to go with i mean hp increase your ammo count do we just want to kind of go a spammy build and we're just spamming out from afar i don't know man we could just kind of do the same build that we did if we just kind of discard this we can do the same build as this we this could work let me think of something okay so this is what i've came up with <laughs> indomitable 5 heavy metal 4 Fervor 3, Trebuchet 2, and War Machine 1. It feels really bad. Like, it just feels like I'm just going around with extra ammo. Nothing really like damage reduction, nothing crazy. This probably isn't that great of a build, but if you think about it, in theory, when do you want to run Slugshot? On longer maps, you just want to spam stuff. You always want to spam stuff with Ash, right? But long range is never letting off the left click. Seems like it'd be really good. She has a default, I think, six shots, so she'd have nine, and then she regens two when she drops her seed shield. I don't know, this seems okay. Maybe we'll try it, but we're going to be jumping in with Fortress Breaker first, and maybe when I start playing a little bit more Ash, I'll get an idea of like, oh, this is what I'd want for Slugshot. We'll see. Let's jump into game. Wish me luck. Here we go. Fortress Breaker on Ice Mines. Seems legit. Uh, they have a tank. We have a tank. They have a heal. They don't have a healer. We're going to go with the shield cooldown or shield CD. See how it works. Check out this jump. It's pretty good. Jump right here. You land down. You go in. It's much faster. Like, look how much faster this is comparative to, like, look how much... Look at look how much distance I gained on them. It's so much better. Well, we've got debilitate on us, and uh, we're dead. Let's try this again. Head on in. Make sure not to die. They lost our tank, so we're having our tank come back, and uh, we'll just slowly push on a point here. There's a seems to be a guy up here. No, I got no time for that. Got zero time for that. Hey! 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 Get back! I don't. I don't like you. Excuse you? I don't think so, Tim. Hi, young. Oh no! 
Oh, like goobers. Oh, we're dismounting all of them right now. This is pretty good. Uh, who's our healer again? Genos? Don't worry, we have a shield. Don't worry, we're dead. Here I come to wreck the day. Do, 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 do. I can't see, Captain. I literally just can't see. Here I go. Run away from the pain. Drogos. <laughs> Rest in peace, Drogos. We might be able to try to go for like a bit of a ninja. Uh, it looks like Shaolin's already up on that. It's up on that new meta stuff. The new ninja. Oh, well. The, uh. Didn't work very well for him. I'll say that for sure. Who just went invisible? Hold on, here I come. Hanyang. Hanyang. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, not having a healer sucks, doesn't it? So he's just kind of sitting on point trying to stall the payload. That's legit. To be fair, I'll be honest with you guys. Why is it... Why did the bomb not stop that? That's interesting. I'll have to relook into that. Should have probably like chilled just for a little bit longer. Our Genos is back yet? I'm just gonna kind of wait for this Genos heal. There it is. Now nah, we're gonna run now. <laughs> Need to stay alive. Oh, I'm so slowed. We're pushing high ground. Here we go. Here we go. Hanyang. George Gill. Oh no. Can you make this jump across? I think you can. That's really cool. I just want to test that out before I see if we can get our ult up just a little bit more. One more shot. Okay, cool. About 90% ult. We'll be able to get it up. Uh, we're not going to run in and die right away. I think that's pretty important. Hope you guys agree. We haven't really been able to use our Fortress Breaker as much as we like. And by Fortress Breaker, I mean our Siege Engine. So we'll try to use that a little bit more. There we go. Making the jump better this time. We Oh, we hit our head. So, you know, what's crazy is even though we hit our head, we're still ahead of people. So get better at it, Kami. I think you can just kind of run it out. Let's see if the sky comes over on the left side. I hit him. I charged him in midair, dude. Oh, that was pretty cool. And by charging him in midair, I mean I charged him while I was blind. Wow. Would you look at that? What's up, player? Yep. Dredge is fun. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can he hit me? Whoop, 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 whoop. You're going to be on point? Or I'm going to trust that the, that the Genos is going to get on point. Someone's going to be on point, right? You always need a forward zone here. Oh, wait. Hello. Hanyang. Double kill. Here I come, Vic. Whoa, he went flying. How'd that not kill? Leg goo bears. We'll just stay in here, I guess. Time to get out. Who is going to know when to get out with Ash using your dash ability as much as you can? We're going to wait for our shield to come back up. Whoop. That's a hard pass there, Sky. Just the most persistent tickling ever. Sky's like, stop it. Stop it, call me. And I'm like, no. No, I will not stop it, call me. Is he way over there? Yo. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, my God. What is that? What's going on here? Huh? What's going on over there? That seemed to work out pretty well. Oh god, the Kraken. Sweet baby G. Why were you at one life? Get off your mount. Victor? Okay, he's off his mount. We're good. We're gonna be up here for a little bit. We don't have our ult up that high, but we do need to drop down, I think, so we can push this up. No one else should really be on point here. We'll drop behind the shield so we don't have to worry about that dude. Whoa there, Black Betty. 
Alright, uh, Siege Engine, go! Hiya! Shield back down! Uh oh. Do we have a healer up? I have a Geno Seal on me. Yeah, I think we're good right now. Okay, so we're just gonna try to chill here, staying alive. We're gonna get our ult up here very soon. And we're dropping like it's hot. That's a pass. Yay, we did it, team! <laughs> that guy literally ulted like seconds after the round ended. That was really weird. Maybe he's just like, screw it, we don't have a healer. That's life. But we're playing a little bit better with We've gotten better at using Fortress Breaker. We've gotten better at playing solo tank, and that's a big thing too is, you know, one thing is you gotta play the talent right. But then the other thing is you gotta play the composition right. And we have solo tank. So what's really hard about solo tank, hey, we did the jump correctly. Uh, the one thing about solo tank is staying alive, you know? I mean, you're gonna, if you die, then your team's just sad. I don't know what to say else than that. I can't see, Captain. We have a Geno Seal on us. <laughs> Peekaboo! Uh, oh my god. We have fed him unnecessarily. Hey! Trying to shoot him through the wall. Like, literally trying to shoot him through the wall. Probably not the best idea. Do we have a Genos back yet? Okay, so Genos is gonna get up here. That's good. We're gonna knock them back when they come around this corner. Never mind. Hey, what's going on, people? Oh my god. Legoobers! What are you doing? What are you doing? Charge kill incoming! Grrr, grrr, double kill! Call me rocks! Alright. We'll confirm Fortress Breaker best build in the game for Ash because we got top kills, least amount of deaths, Top damage on the whole entire enemy C enemy side and Mars side. It's obviously the best. No, it's just schedule matchmaking. What are we gonna do? Uh, you might be wondering, Kami, why'd you use this video? Why'd you use this game? And it's like, well, this is actually my fifth game that I played with Fortress Breaker. And I'll be honest, it was the best. It was the closest. And it kind of demonstrated things that I want to do with Fortress Breaker. Like demonstrated me playing poorly and then kind of getting better. And you know, you just kind of take those into consideration. So keep that in mind. That was the best out of five games I played with Fortress Breaker. I promise you. Let's jump in to the slug shot to see if it's any better. I don't expect much. Here we go. All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a unique situation here. We have three tanks. This screams more than ever just to go slug shot. We want to go damage, and we haven't really changed anything on the loadout. Eh, nothing really new learned. You know, Kami doesn't learn things. So we're gonna give it a try. 11 shots. So what does she actually have in the uh, by default? She has 10, 9, 8. She has 8 shots. Uh, extra shots, maybe not so much worth it. Maybe not. But we'll go ahead and go culturize and cross our fingers. What do we think we want to do? I don't know, man. Want to shoot people? That's good. Superior there. They have a Strix. They do have a Strix. Do I hear someone over here? Yes, I do. Our range is sick right now. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. We're just gonna shoot that off. Oh, thank you, team! Much love. Hey, we can snipe people off. Is there still a Strix? We don't have a Strix, do we? What is this Strix doing over here? We're gonna blast him off the- uh oh There's still a Strix. Where? Where? We're going for it. Ah! That worked. Let's check out the range on this, dude. It's pretty good. And what's great about this is when I say, mm, you can pretty much aim in a general direction. She's going to be able to dash back on, but she's not going to. Strix is not dead. I don't know where Strix went. But you, you, like, it's not, it says it doesn't explode anymore, but it's still pretty projectile y, you know? Strix is dead. Like, you can see here, I'm going to try to aim to, like, the. Ooh. Okay. It's not working very well on the shield. But if I aim kind of up, see how I kind of aimed up on the Makoa and it still hit? That's really good. Not as easy to explode people around the map, or around the corners, though. Definitely so. Definitely. We're making it work. Yeah, you can't you can't spam people around the corners, and I think that's a big, a big bad thing. A big bad thing. Because that's one of the most, like, the most BA things you can do with Ash. Oh, popped that the wrong way. Whoops, I tried to do like a 180. I tried to pull like a Fernando Moonwalk thing where I did a 180 and tried to drop the shield down. I wanted the shield going um, forward and then I wanted to run in front of it to try to block it from the 
the strict shooting me, but that didn't work out very well. Whoopsie. Hey, push successful. Deft hands on a strict though. Like deft hands, you can reload faster and you can do more damage, but you don't need to do more damage if you're just doing more damage. Like you don't need to do more consistent damage by able to reload and shoot more when you just do more damage on things with Wrecker and, and make sure that your damage counts with, with cauterize. That's my personal opinion, but what are you gonna do? Going back in, same spot, same time. Uh, maybe we stay farther back and we can kind of snipe out. Can we like snipe? <laughs> no. So you can see, like, this is working out pretty well. Whoa! Is he Leviathan, you think? Hey. Hey. Here I come. That works. Should probably drop our shield. Probably should have dropped our shield to get the extra ammo. Who's Neil? Come here! Gotta go this way. Time out. Whoa, whoa! We're dead. I want to get that Fury. That Fury is like one shot. Here I come to wreck the day. All right, so let's try using this long range to our advantage. Nope, not using it anymore. We've got time. Can this go this far? Oh, never mind. No cod race makes Kami a sad boy. He teleported into peekaboo. Okay, so you do kind of have to aim it. That is true. Oh, is she like healing a bunch? No! Oh, here comes Drogos. He's mad. Yeah, let's just try playing this more. Like, look how far we can snipe from. Look at this. Look at this. It's 400 damage a second. It's sick. But you can do that. And that's always good. Just gotta hit your shots, Kami. There is a McCuddles over here that might be looking to hook our Drugaos. And that's not fun. Shoot that tree. Yeah, mess that tree up, boy. And oh! We're fine. We're fine. We'll dash out of here in a second. I think, actually, the hook should be up here in a second. Never mind. We'll stay up behind the hook. We got healed up. I'll allow it. No hooks. No whammies. Woo! -hoo. Oh my god, we almost got out. That would have been sick. So nice. Where is the Strix at? I hear him pew pewing. King weighs down like a clown. Reload my 11 shots, don't worry about it. I definitely don't think I need like, I don't need trebuchet. I don't need that. It's kind of pointless. We'll just hold back here. This seems like a better spot to just be able to spam down. <laughs> Little peek shot with Ash. Peekaboo! What do you think you're doing? You ain't doing nothing. Oh, trebuchet coming in hot. Oh. <laughs> we got him! I straight up wanted to look behind me to try to find the atlas. Like, what, where'd he go? 3 1, we can make this win happen easy peasy. And I think it becomes very apparent that, like, what Ash wants to do is get in the back line. What Ash wants to do is be a bully. And Slugshot doesn't really do that. If we had a little bit more damage to help out and just two tanks, I think this would be a little bit better of an example. But you can't always get what you want. And I, I actually think this might even be a better example because we're typically going to be played like a, a damage. Maybe. There's a reason why I call the loadout meme. Okay. Excuse you? Barrack just going to spawn. We're fine. The Talus is nothing. So we can pretty much shoot from this range. That's really nice. Can we not hit that, though? Oh, we can't hit that, so that's actually not that great. You hear that? We're stronger together. Deal with it, bro. Now we're going to be super aggressive. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I'm invulnerable. Don't worry about it. We're in the back line. We missed a shot. 
He's going to keep trying to dodge us. But it ain't going to work. We're going to get out of here, though. Whoa! Shh. Shh. No, team, no! Maybe could have went uh, morale boost just to kind of poke on point. They have a tank, right? Yeah, they have a McCoy. Speak of the witch, he is plucked, so I can actually knock him away. Oh, he doesn't have extra HP either. Ah, uh, we can't hit that yet. Oh, yes, we can. Whoa, no, we can't. We, we just gotta aim it, though. Hey, Strixie Poo. Time to get off the point. Time to get back on the point. We've almost got our shield back up. So we just need to hold this. We're probably not going to be able to get our... Um, ult off. Oh, that Fury probably shouldn't have came on. Woo! -hoo. Wish we had Fortress Breaker right now, huh? We're just trying to deal with them right now. Dealing with that Leon. Hello? Hey, we did it! I mean, what else are you going to say with uh, Slugshot? It's just, you sit back and you do damage. We have a lot of gifts open. I want to open them just to end this off. Uh, but 62,000 damage. People are talking about toe picks in chat. I want it to go away, but 62,000 damage. My overall consensus is probably my loadout is bad. Uh, damage isn't enough to really, really take advantage of the lifesteal. I've always been kind of meh on this. I don't know why this is so damn good. I mean, we're doing like, what, 500 damage a shot and you're getting like 300 damage or 300 heals when you have 50 something else or 40, 4,500 health, whatever it is. And uh, of course, Cotter Ray starts coming online. Yeah, it seems legit. Overall, I think the Fortress Breaker is definitely more my play style because you can get up in their faces and it can be fun and Battering Ram is just kind of a nice get-out-of-jail-free card. That's all I can say there. Slugshot can be good, but honestly, even on longer maps, you just still kind of want to get up in their faces and, and blast them. And having the easier shots around the corners, uh, applying the cauterize and all that fun stuff, seems like it'd just be better. Let's end it off with the old opening up the packs. This one's going to be of It's Phil Swift. Is it Phil Swift? It's getting swifty up in here, boy. We got three team boosters. The Dream, LL Carbon, II Carbon, I don't know, Line, Line, Line Carbon. Coming in with the Team Boosters. We're living the dream right now. And then we're gonna be, what, we got three more? Ooh, that's a good name right there. Smadu Math 420. Don't do math on 420. You'll probably do it incorrectly. Three more Team Boosters. Hell yeah. Let's see if we can finish it off with three more Team Boosters time two. Times two, there's one. Did we miss that name? I'm sorry, I'm an ass. Yo Daddy, Yo Daddy, thank you. Thank you so much for the team boosters, guys. I could be boosted for the rest of my life. I'm actually ecstatic about that. Well, I've always wanted that. Anyway, I'm going to head out of here. Up next is going to be Atlas. I'm going to need a little bit of grinding to do because, well, I don't know much about him and it'll be pretty awful. And I also want to make sure that people understand that, like, you know, I've seen some comments on my Over the Moon. I'm sure there's going to be comments on Ash. Like, Gami, you're not playing the champions correctly. And it's like, if you expect me to play every champion correctly, do you think I'm a god? Like, I don't know what you want me to say. I have, like, my champion pool and then I have champions that I can play decently. But, of course, I'm going to be making some mistakes. So, this series is to help me learn and then hopefully other people learning at the same time. That's all I really want to say. Okay, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not going to ask.